Insight, an in-depth look at the issues shaping our world. And today we're looking at the issue of food security, joined in the studio by Yaman Khan and Kunal Wadwani of Agricel, Dubai-based company, that tomorrow is launching their film farming system that's going to be growing tomatoes on sheets of plastic infused with nitrates. Also with us in the studio, Sean Evers, managing partner of the GulfIntelligence.com. Tomorrow is the second Gulf Intelligence Food Security Forum in Abu Dhabi. Uh, Kunal, if I can turn to you, we've had a number of SMSs in about this, particularly about your technology. Uh, Mo writes in, I would never eat anything grown in plastic, and I suspect most people would agree. That you've probably heard this before, haven't you? Right, I, and I agree with them as well. Um, I wouldn't eat anything on plastic or grown on plastic. Uh, the fact is our technology isn't plastic. It's actually a hydrogel-based membrane, uh, which is purely organic, uh, has no GM qualities whatsoever, and is 100% biodegradable. The point about this technology is, and, and the key to this is, the, uh, the manner in which it retains the water and the nutrients and how the roots, once attached to this membrane, actually suck out the water and the nutrients that they need as and when they need them. And that's the actual key to it. That's the technology. That's the, uh, the USP. But, but still, th- th- there is a sense that it's almost, I- in a sense, artificial. It's not real. We, we want our vegetables to be grown in soil, to be sort of pulled out of, as you mentioned, you know, Mother Earth, rather than grown in a, in a, in a hothouse in a field in, in Alain or in a, in, a, in a warehouse in Alain. People just like natural. It, it, it's a buzzword at the moment, isn't it? If I can take that one. Um, absolutely, and we are part of that same uh, uh, market and says, oh, natural food. Problem is, there's two big issues. Uh, erosion of land. Arable land, uh, literally hundreds of thousands of square kilometers a year are being eroded. So there's some big picture problems on planet Earth that we have to start to address and look at. Uh, Sean mentioned issues around uh, educating women, some issues around water uh, scarcity and uh, food. I think if people see what this is, it may look like plastic, and I can't stress it enough, it is not plastic. Um, And the market trials that we did in Sharjah, we actually took these and took it to the local supermarkets and some leading gourmet kitchens, People knew where they were. Uh, we showed them a video. They knew how it was grown. They loved it. And you've ta- I don't want to put you on the spot, but you've tasted it. It tastes like a tomato should taste. When we showed, sh- uh, shared it with people in the region, um, I'm not joking. People moved to tears. People started saying, sniffing it and, and saying, this reminds me of my grandmother's village in Morocco. A gentleman started talking <laughs> about eating this and going, this is like the, the cherry tomatoes I, I remember from my childhood in Syria or Iraq. It evoked something of how s- real food should smell. The nutritional value, this is coming back to anybody who's talking about plastic, there are two big measures, and one of them is now being uh, um, mandated by the Californian government. When you sell fruit and vegetable, they'll have a thing called GABA, G-A-B-A. That will be put on the food. uh, food. We believe that will happen across the U.S. over the next year. Within two years, it'll be Europe and then the rest of the world. GABA is an amazing thing. GABA is something that is brain food and doctors have it, your body has it, and certain uh, vegetables and food aid the supply of GABA to your brain. The food we grow in this method, this film farm, uh, enhances lycopene, which is cancer reducing, and GABA off the charts. So things that you grow in soil have, let's say, a GABA of two, cherry tomatoes, and the things that we grow in our film farm have a GABA of 50. So it's uh, it's not just a little change, it's a huge fundamental shift in nutrition. So that aids memory, that aids the way you think, how you start thinking and calms your brain down. That's just one aspect of nutrition I'm talking about. The second point is, yes, there will always be resistance to change such, at such a fundamental level. So what we're talking about is today, if people look at the food they get in their soil, as you speak, the amount of additives people add, farming, every country and every world, the, the fertilizer business in India alone is about $9 billion. The fertilizer business in the GCC is touching two billion dollars a year not all of it is pure mother earth and we eat that food today all the callers will say oh we're still coming out of the soil but if you look at what's in it it's not pure mother earth there's a lot of science that goes into it some good some bad we've had a number of sms's in on this tony wright said how much space do you need to start a farm in a box and this brings us on to the question, and we are short of time, uh, how are you going to make money out of this? Your business model is essentially a franchise model, isn't it? If you can sum it up in less than a minute, because we are short of time. So basically, in terms of the farm, you're looking at anything from 1,000 square meters and upwards. Uh, What's and that in football fields? <laughs> What's the square meter of a football I field? I have no idea. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that half a football field onwards. Okay. Right, half a football field onwards. Um, 
that's uh, that's basically minimum size you'd look at to actually start developing this and, and, and start growing uh, vegetables. Uh, in terms of uh, expanding it, is that the question? In terms of the, the, the business model, yeah. right. agri is oh, a business. Right. So, so basically what we're doing is we are looking to partner up with strategic, with strategic uh, uh, joint venture partners across the region who share the vision of feeding the future uh, and actually... Uh, are, have the distribution network within their territories to take this out to the masses, whether it's on a retail level to the to the sort of the larger farm level. Um, ROIs for these farms range from anywhere starting at 40% uh, per annum up to 70%. And that's based on the numbers out of Japan? Absolutely. And, 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 and the test here in China. And the test here in China. And the numbers based on what the farms would cost in, in, the, in the GCC, uh, India, Pakistan, that's why I said a range between 40 to 70 percent. And you've got, you got some heavy backers, haven't you? Your chairman is uh, His Excellency Omar Gabash. Absolutely, yes. The, he's the ambassador to the Russia and Ukraine, UAE ambassador. Sean Evers, we're, we're running short of time. We're going to have to wrap up now. What kind of response do you think something like this would get at your food security tomorrow? Do you think people will welcome it in open arms and say, here we go, it's the solution, what we've been waiting for, or perhaps a, a well, little think, bit more scepticism? No, I think uh, the agri-cell, you know, might seem a little bit, a uh, little for us, ignorance here, in, in, in we live on a very marginal side of new technology and food. Uh, if you go to the likes of California, where most of the world's greatest technology has come out of in the last 40 years, this kind of food development technology is already well underway. Uh, so I think it it is a significant part of the solution for meeting the food requirements of the world going forward. This is one small part of what will be multiple solutions, but new technology and food, uh, get used to it. It's going to be very, very normal. We're going to have to leave it there. It's been an absolute pleasure. First of all, Sean Evers, managing partner of thegulfintelligence.com. Look forward to seeing you in Abu Dhabi tomorrow. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Richard. And also to Kanal Wadwani, founder and board member of AgriCell Kanal. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. And Yalman Khan, the founder and chief executive of AgriCell. You've got a big launch tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. Best Thank of luck you. with that. It's great local business here in the UAE. Tim, back to you.